Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. It is 5.24 in the morning, and I am heading to the highway. I think I'm going to have to get gas first. I'll get it down the highway. Uh, so our first stop is the gas station and a coffee to get me going, and then we will be heading to uh, down into Toronto and then around Lake Ontario to Niagara Falls, then Buffalo, and in Buffalo I will be doing my uh, Taco Bell breakfast, um, but I didn't fall asleep till around 12, and I had to get up at 5, I hate that, but sometimes I just can't fall asleep, thinking about today and all the things I need uh, when you're going far away, uh, you always want to make sure you have everything, and of course your brain's in overdrive, so I think I've got everything. And I'm wearing the Heisenberg hat, just to make this day rock even more. I will not be wearing this over the border. <laughs> yes, officer. No, I don't have blue meth. Uh, it'll slow. It'll slow my crossing down a lot. Um. So uh, you have to always make sure you have your passport. I'm just double checking. We're good. So I just pulled off the highway uh, around King City. I uh, got my large double-double coffee at Tim Hortons, of course, behind me there. And now I'm at Esso gassing up. It's $1.32.9 today. I uh, should have got it in Bradford. There's a gas station called uh, Pioneer, and they always have the cheapest gas. Either that or Costco. But I wasn't going to drive all the way up to Costco or all the way up to Barrie to go to Costco to buy gas. Anyway, we're gonna get uh, this job, or this car filled up, and uh, then we'll be on the road once again. It's been a long time since I've driven uh, down into Toronto at this specific time. It's uh, about seven minutes after six, and it is already heavy traffic, but uh, we're still doing around 90 to 100 kilometers an hour, which is still pretty good. It's just a lot of cars, and I just don't look forward to the 401, which is uh, east to west highway that runs along the north side of Toronto, and it gets packed pretty quick. So look what I'm looking at. Just passing Rutherford Road, and we're back. I, I went right through Toronto like it wasn't there. Unbelievable. There was one accident on the northbound 400. And it didn't affect the southbound at all, which is awesome. And uh, the 401 was heavy traffic, but I zipped through the 401. Now I'm on, then on the 427, flawless. Now I'm on the QEW, heading towards Niagara Falls and Buffalo. So I'm I'm extremely happy about the traffic situation at the moment. Forgot to talk about last night. Last night I launched my Taco Bell 10 Taco Challenge, and uh, if you haven't seen that, it's on my main channel, and uh, it's doing really well. It's like less than 12 hours since I put it up, and it's got over 15,000 views. So things are looking up for KBD Productions TV, thanks to you guys, and you guys. <laughs> Passing through Burlington to all my Burlington fans and subscribers, a shout out to you. Peace. So I just made it over the border. Uh, I took off my Heisenberg hat <laughs> just in case, and uh, she just wanted to search my trunk. So nothing crazy there. She says, "Why are you going to the states?" And I'm like, "Well, to meet up with a friend." in Rochester and she's like, how did you meet this friend? I'm like, through the internet. Now she thinks I'm meeting some girl for like a, 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 a night rendezvous. <laughs> she didn't ask if it was male or female. I guess they can't ask that. Uh, but anyway, so that was kind of funny. So there's like 10 kilometers before I hit like a toll booth. Uh, I thought I was gonna get hit with a, a toll going across the border, which is like, Almost every border I've ever been over, I think there's a toll. Um, but I guess not at this one. I guess because it's not a bridge or whatever, I don't know. But at uh, the, the crossing down in uh, Detroit, 
is always a toll, I guess because of the maintenance of the bridge, and I guess I can understand that. So it's uh, 89 kilometers to the Taco Bell. Hang on. All right, I'm now in Batavia. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Uh, and I'm just about to do the Taco Bell. Uh, I'm doing the Grand Scrambler Burrito or Steak Burrito. And uh, of course, you'll have to wait for that video to come out next week sometime. But I'll do that review and then I'll be on my way to Rochester. All right, we're back on the highway. I just had to pull into a uh, Dunkin' Donuts and use their free Wi-Fi to send out an Instagram of me eating the Grand Scrambler. I couldn't remember that for some reason while I was doing the recording of the video. But uh, all I'm gonna say is it went well, and that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I don't know when that video is gonna go up, possibly Tuesday, possibly Friday, possibly it might be a bonus video that just goes up randomly. That's the way things are going now in KBD Productions TV land. So we're on the highway, it's about 43 kilometers to uh, Rochester. So it looks like I'm gonna get there pretty early. It's like 9.42 right now. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be getting there much earlier than normal. Maybe I could go for a nice long walk and work off this scrambler before I do the blazing wings challenge with JP. So I have arrived in Rochester and the Buffalo Wild Wings is just down the street here. Uh, I can't see, I'm on Jefferson Road and whatever, I'm in this huge Marshalls Plaza and I'm just looking for a food place to buy some food for the food bank. So I'm here at uh, BJ's Wholesale and I'll see if I can get some food for the food bank. So it turns out you need a card to get into this place and buy stuff. <laughs> you don't need a card to get in, but you need a card to buy things. So I guess it's like Costco kind of thing. Anyway, but they were very friendly and told me uh, a couple other places I can go. So I'm heading over to Wagman's, I think it's called. Let's see if I can get some food there. Now I'm at Wagman's and I'm gonna grab some food and then I'll see if I can get some free Wi-Fi around here and, and see if I can contact uh, JP and let him know that I'm in town, everything's good, and then we'll meet him at the uh, Buffalo Wings. So I talked to a gentleman by the name of Ethan at the food bank, I think it's called Food Link, and I asked him, you know, what do they need? And they said they need tuna in water, which is, they need a lot of protein things. So tuna in water and also beans, low sodium. So I'm gonna get like, I don't know, 30 cans of this, and it <laughs> depends on how much the beans cost, and then we'll, uh, finish up shopping here. So I got uh, 20 cans of pork and beans and uh, he said he wanted uh, beans, low sodium beans, but I couldn't find them anywhere. And I got 32 cans of tuna. Let's go pay for it. Wagmans turned out to be awesome. The tuna was like 99 cents a can, about 30 cans, 32 cans of that, and 20 cans of the beans, and I think they were like 79 cents. Uh, so the prices here are awesome. It makes uh, giving to charities, food banks and stuff, much easier, and I can give more food. Now, uh, while I was there, uh, they had free Wi-Fi, which was awesome, because then I uh, could um, send a message out to JP, and he in turn said, what's your phone number? <laughs> so he uh, got my, I sent him my phone number, and then he just phoned me back, and just let me know that he's about 20 minutes to half an hour away. So now I'm going back to the um, Buffalo Wild Wings. We'll talk to the manager and see if we can videotape inside the restaurant. I don't see why we can't. It'll be awesome. I, I'm pretty sure everything is going to be sweet. So I'm just outside of Buffalo Wild Wings waiting for JP and Julia to show up. Uh, I just went inside and talked to the manager and the general manager, I think, was here as well, which is good. And she said, oh, she just has to phone corporate and to see if we can shoot inside. If not, we'll just come sit outside on a bench and we'll do the challenge outside. And uh, yeah, I just hope that they say, yeah, that's fine. Because I personally don't see the problem with it. Do you? 
All right, the latest update is she's called a bunch of people, I guess, in corporate, and she says she's getting mixed answers from people, and uh, so basically, it's a no. Uh, we cannot videotape in this restaurant at this moment. She said there's one person who's like the deciding factor whether or not we can actually shoot in this restaurant or not. But like, it's hilarious because I'm actually standing right out in front and it's like, why can't you do it? Like, whatever. Hope it works out. If not, we'll be eating on this bench over here. And, uh... You kind of don't want to say anything bad about the restaurant, and uh, you, you, you'd hope that somebody in corporate would phone you up and explain it to you because, you know, people in, in uh, basically I'm in, in media, right? So the people in the media need to be treated a certain way, and for them not to let me videotape myself eating some wings in their restaurant, oh my gosh, that just blows my mind. And then, like I said before, you know, uh, Dan from Wendy's uh, in Bradford, Ontario, he's just like, sure, man, come on in anytime you want. Because he totally gets it. And he's the man, just the manager of that one restaurant. He's not the owner. He's not corporate. And as far as I know, nobody's ever come down on him. So it's like, you know, sometimes you just hope that... Uh, Somewhere along the line, people, more people will understand. And it's funny, they put pictures up of everybody on the wall of them eating their wings and their time. So it says the wing challenge, whatever, and they go take a snapshot of you and put your time on it. Oh, well, I'm hoping that they come through. I'd like to give them a good review. Hey, guys. How's it going? All right. Are you videoing this right now? I am. She's like, damn it. I like your hat. Thanks, That's bud. like gangster. You were like trying to pull off the Breaking Bad? Yeah, I'm trying to pull off the Breaking Bad. I figured we'd go Breaking Bad and see if I can kick your ass. You're going to be Breaking Bad in the bathroom later. That's what's going to happen. But of course they won't let us shoot inside. They won't? No. So I guess a lesson to people who want to videotape this and put it on YouTube, don't tell them you're going to put it on YouTube. Because that's that's the breaking point. Like if I if we said, oh, we want to do it, and then you just brought your camera and videotaped us, everything would be fine. If we just said, oh, can you shut the music off because it's interfering? It hurts my ears. You know, you can lie. Uh, but she's like phoned a bunch of people at corporate, and she said she gets mixed answers. So, all right, we just finished up the wing challenge. One, two, three, go. You'll have to wait and sit on Friday. Uh, JP's going to put up his video of the garbage plate on his channel. Oh, man, this thing. And uh, what? Yeah, oh. I got all three of you: the building and the uh, space center. <laughs> this thing's got such a wide angle lens. Get that camera. It's an awesome camera. But how do you feel now? But it's starting to ache my stomach a little bit. Yeah. But it started aching uh, your stomach way before mine. Yep. Like it just burned Instantly. my face and my mouth for a long time. My stomach feels terrible right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have, it's just starting to heat up now, which is kind of funny. It took so long. Mine's like heating up. I just need like Tom's. Mine's just indigestion and heartburn. Okay. <laughs> so I've got my, uh, okay, we'll be right back. So we are at Food Link and JP and Julia are helping us bring, we got five bags of food. I already told you what's in them. Blazing wings. And we can give them blazing wings next time because people who, you know, are having problems buying food, they need to have a bit of spice in their life. And that sure would do it. So uh, JP, Julia and I just dropped off the, the food to Food Link here in Rochester. Now I'm following uh, JP to our next destination. And it's, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's something like a bar slash bar. I, I don't know what it's called. I just know he wanted to do some beverage reviews and he wanted me to tag along. So here we go. We are here at Bill Gray's. And uh, uh, home of the world's greatest cheeseburger. Worked here for seven years. They're also associated with Abbott's. It's another local uh, custard joint, which they paired up. Custard with, joint. Uh, yep, which is a, a fancy word for ice cream and with eggs made from For sure. Egg base. And I love custard. Yeah, it's delicious. Ever since the tele Teletubbies. And it's not your standard <laughs> stuff that just comes out like in a little spiral star shape. This is like real fresh made custard scooped right out of a giant bin of awesomeness. Well, let's get some of that. Yeah. This should help with, help with the stomach pains. I had the chocolate milkshake. What did you have? 
the almond chocolate ice cream. Almond chocolate custard. ice cream. Or custard. Or custard, right? Oh, George. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so JP obviously used to work here and he's uh, having a little bit of a class reunion. Uh, but the, ch the milkshake is like really thick, um, like crazy ice cream, soft ice cream. It has the, uh, the same chocolate flavor as, uh, you know, ice cream, uh, truck vendors that same exact chocolate taste but uh this is this is definitely a, a, a go out and get it now type milkshake i love this this is very good it's not too sweet one of the things i don't like about dairy queen milkshakes is that and i always keep forgetting to ask them when they make their milkshake to put half the amount of chocolate in because whatever chocolate they use this is so thick syrupy sugary sweet i just it makes me kind of uh, thirsty and kind of sick near the end of a that size milkshake anyway this is pretty good though one thing i really like about this ice cream is that there's not a hard point in it. It's just like soft all the way, all through. The way through. It's not like super melty oh, yeah. either. But I keep that came out of a machine though. Gosh, I, just, I think that they scooped it. I'm not sure, I didn't watch it happen. Oh, you know what, you're right. They did scoop it, but it was soft all the way through. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the outside being crazy thin or... Crazy melty and then melted. the inside yeah. being all hard and yeah. Well, I'm glad I had one great, of these Bill Gray's milkshakes. You're supposed to have the world's cheese, greatest cheeseburger. Jay Pace told me already twice about it, so obviously I'm gonna have to come back for another food review. Hi guys, we're at Cotty's house. We thought we'd stop by and he was shooting a few videos. How you doing, buddy? Good. First Thanks. time I met him. Thanks for coming here. No problem. Thanks for all the uh, treats. And of course, you know JP. And we did uh, three different uh, reviews for his channel. And Dog Bite was one of them. And again, not, I had never tried any of these things. So again, you'll have to check out his channel. I'll try to put, I guess, his channel in my, uh, it's called Behind the Bar, uh, but I'll put the link in the description of this video and you guys can just go and check it out and, and say hi, say can sent you. And uh, so we did three reviews and it was this beer, Steel Reserve, and then three or four, four, four different taquitos. things, taquitos from 7-Eleven. Cause I know you guys want me to try lots of stuff from uh, United States, but we just don't have the stuff in Canada. So you can go check it out on Kylie's channel. So again, thanks guys. Yeah, no problem. For, man. Thanks for coming. No it problem. Was a fun time, for sure. So check it out. Just finished up at uh, Kylie's house and doing those reviews. And now I'm just driving down the street and I just thought I'd show you a little bit about what Rochester looks like. Uh, the suburbs, I guess you'd call it. Very pretty. Uh, I almost showed you JP's license plate. That would be wrong. But it's very pretty. Uh, it's probably nice like this all year long. Even the winter time, I could see people having up their Christmas lights and stuff. But there you go. Nice houses, nice lush trees, well-aged community. And you can tell by the age of the trees that it's been around a nice long time. A little bit of Rochester for you people. I did not know Rochester had such pretty communities like this. Awesome. Well, well done. Rochester. So we are downtown Rochester right now. What's this place called, JP? Nick Tahoe's. Nick Tahoe's. We're gonna be doing the garbage plate and that's gonna be going up on JP's channel. Uh, healthy junk food. And the set. Is that it right there? But possibly. So there's their sign. Home of the Garbage Place. 1918. Nick Tahoe's. Nice. So this is what it looks like. Not a whole lot of people right now, but uh, I'm sure it gets packed in here once in a while. Let's feed. Well, just finished up with JP and Julia. And we are all done our videos. We just did the garbage plate. Uh, I couldn't finish mine, it was just too much food. And now I'm heading to the... I have to turn left in 200 meters, people. So I'll be right back. And we're back. Like I was saying, we just finished up with JP, heading to the hotel. I was thinking I was gonna grab a couple beers and uh, start editing this up for you guys. Hopefully they have a really good internet. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see this before 12 midnight tonight. Turn right. 
I have to turn right. See ya. Well, I made it to the hotel maybe about two hours ago. Uh, but I had to get the editing done as fast as possible. I talked to my wife on Skype, uh, made a few phone calls, made a few texts, emails, looked at all those emails. And uh, so now I'm wanting to show you quickly. I think that is a Ferrari. I'm so lucky. They delivered it early. Uh, so... I'm gonna show you the hotel now. That's what I was gonna do. I got all my stuff done. I just need this ending clip to put on the end of the video. Right now it's rendering. It's about 20 minutes long, so you guys are gonna lock out. So it's 1323 something road. Very nice facilities. They have a very cool office center. Of course they have Macintosh. I don't know what that is. So you can use that for free. Just come down, plug in. Uh, my roof, I think I stayed in a Hampton when I went uh, out east to New York. And because uh, I recognized their website when I was logging in. Uh, to the internet. So you, they, you get free internet with your room, but if you want a faster internet, which I think I'm gonna have to buy, it's about 450. Uh, I'm gonna buy that um, so I can upload my, upload my video. Cause I was just trying to, uh, what's it called? Install and upgrade my Skype, and it was like a 35 meg file, and it was screwing up. Check this out. If you see a fireball from uh, Donkey Kong, run down the stairs. That's very, very good information. So I'm in 307. If you ever stay at Hampton, you can stay in my room. So of course I've already got some stuff. There's the washroom. Got some towels. Everything's cool. I already used the soap. I felt dirty and grungy. I had to wash my hands when I first came in. And uh, again, there's some nice shampoo I'll be taking home. And uh, of course the hair dryer. That's always handy. Uh, so there's my bucket of stuff. There's all my receipts. Guess what I got, ladies and gentlemen? Review coming up. So I got, I think it's all the right flavors. And it looks like, I thought you guys, I, we only got four flavors, so they've got the wasabi, the bacon mac and cheese, the mango salsa, which sounds disgusting, cappuccino, and then cheesy garlic bread. And they're all Lay's, but I'm not sure, maybe that is a not a normal flavor, or that's a regular flavor. Nope, this is a person who, who did it. So I think these are all the new flavors. I'm gonna try them all just for you. Uh, all ready to go, as you can see, Heisenberg. And uh, I've already had one beer. That's why I'm not talking slurish, you know what I'm saying? So I'm almost finished this. I just gotta fill in this one little spot. And yes, this is Final Cut Pro 7. Everybody asks me, what editing software do you use? So I'll put all that together right now for you and upload it and see if I can get it out within the next hour and a half, two hours. All right, guys, thanks for watching Ken's vlogs. Thanks for supporting this trip, guys. That was awesome of you. Thanks again to Tony for getting me this room at a reduced, crazy, crazy reduced rate. Thank you very much, Tony, you rock. And he also met me at Buffalo Wild Wings and he had brought a couple friends. He biked there, supposedly he found me through uh, cycling. He saw, uh, I guess, a, a thumbnail uh, for my vlogging channel of a bicycle, one of my biking track things. And so he started following my vlogs and then realized I had a food channel and then he found out about what was going on. And so he told me about this place, gave me an amazing raid and also sponsored this whole trip too. Tony, you rock. Anthony is the man. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.